Hello, welcome to the lesson on radar remote sensing of lake and river ice, or freshwater ice for short. My name is Joost van der Sanden, and I am a research scientist with the Canada Centre for Remote Sensing. The centre is headquartered in Ottawa, the capital of Canada, in one of the high-rise buildings that are shown behind me. This picture also illustrates one of the many different ways in which freshwater ice affects the daily life of most Canadians during the winter season. It'll be my pleasure to introduce you to the far-reaching significance of freshwater ice, its interaction with radar waves, and the utility of radar satellites to map its properties and to monitor how these properties change over time. But before we jump into this lesson, let me say a few words about the organization I work for. The Canada Centre for Remote Sensing, or CCRS, makes up a division of the Canada Centre for Mapping and Earth Observation, which is a branch of the Department of Natural Resources Canada. In a nutshell, Natural Resources Canada ensures the sustainable, competitive and inclusive development of Canada's abundant energy, forest, mineral and metal resources. On behalf of the government, the CCRS receives and distributes images from Canadian and foreign satellite missions and develops the utility of remote sensing for civilian applications. To achieve coverage of Canada's territorial lands and waters, the centre operates three strategically located receiving stations. The city of Prince Albert in Saskatchewan is home to the first Canadian satellite receiving station, which was established in 1972. The newest station is situated just above the Arctic Circle, nearby the city of Inuvik in the Northwest Territories. The station offers an ideal line of sight to polar orbiting satellites and therefore receives more data than its sister stations do. Thanks to indigenous artwork created by local artists and students, the Inuvik satellite station is also the most visually attractive one. Over the past 50 years, CCRS scientists have advanced both optical and radar remote sensing by developing technologies, applications and educational materials that meet the needs of users. I sincerely hope that this lesson will add to their achievements by growing your understanding of the utility of radar remote sensing for the characterization of lake and river ice cover. <laughs> 